hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the Chasing a Ghost mission set in Mumbai. And today we will be taking care of the Me Time Challenge, which consists of killing our target Vanya Shah in her meditation pool. This will result in a explosion, so it's all good. For this one we will be requiring our uh, silenced pistol, uh, I don't think we really need the lockpick and we're going to bring along some coins just for our exit, we're going to take a tax, uh, taxi exit. Uh, upon achieving this uh, challenge we will also get the steaming discovery or feat for discovering the water tank above Vanishar's uh, train yard. And as I suggested earlier, we're going to take a cab home, so we will also get the let's get the truck, uh, the tuck out of here, discovery or feet as well. So right from the start, off the bat, what we're going to do is take out our two non-target targets for today, that being Darwood Rangin and the Maelstrom. So we're going to use the Kashmirian to take out Darwood Rangin. So we're going to make our way into the slums and up onto the second floor and we're going to make our way into the Kashmirian's apartment and we're going to collect ourselves some lethal poison to take out the maelstrom. So just in the centre of the room by the suitcases we will find a vial of lethal poison and with that acquired we can then exit the same way we came in and we're going to make our way round to the Kashmirian who's just along the balcony here through this blue door and just up the flight of stairs here and at the top we will find the Kashmirian and his sniping rifle we are gonna investigate his sniping rifle adjust his scope for him and then we're gonna leave so the Kashmirian is now in position and set up we now need to get Darwood Rangin in position as well, so we're going to exit the slums the same way we came in basically, straight down the stairs. And we're going to make our way over to Rangin Tower. Just be aware there is one enforcer off to the right, even in our suit there are enforcers on this map. So once we get to the minivan just by the corner of Rangin Tower we can hop over the wall here into the garden, up the stepped garden area, right to the very top. And just off to our left we will see an entrance with a camera above it and a young lady below it. We're going to take out the camera with our silenced pistol. That's going to distract the young lady who thinks that something's going on on the next floor. So we're going to follow her into the building. And as she ascends the stairs, we're going to make our way into the unfinished lift shaft. And we're going to climb up the lift shaft to the next floor. And unfortunately, we are going to have to wait that young lady out. She will come up to investigate, not find anything and move away again. As you can see, in the room yonder there are two guards. That is the security room. And as you can see, the one guard we do have to worry about has just left and gone down the stairs so we're just going to wait for this young lady to make her way back down the stairs before moving past the security office around to the right through the door through the door on our left through the door at the other end of the room and just out here we will find a tube of paint and then we're going to retrace our steps back to the lift shaft just be aware of the guard in the security office and where where he is positioned but once we make it back to the lift shaft, we are now going to climb up one more floor again to the second floor and up here we will find Darwood Rangin's private quarters or private apartments. So we're just going to exit the lift shaft and around to our left and out onto the ledge of the building. And we're going to scoot along to the window here where we will find an artist and a bodyguard engaging in conversation. We're just going to wait for that conversation to play out. I mean, how long can it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. 70% of the work is finding the right colors. Color mixing is an entire art form on its own. It takes time. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors there. You got it? Fine. 
So we're just going to wait for the security guard to make his way back to his chair. And then just as he's going to sit down, we're going to climb through the window. We're going to approach the paint box just behind the guard and plant our little tub of glue, uh, paint there and make our way back out onto the ledge. So with that taken care of, that is the Darwood Rangin kill all set up and ready to play out and that will take its course over the next few minutes so we don't have to worry about him anymore. So in the meantime we are going to make our way back to the lift shaft and once again checking on the young lady we distracted earlier downstairs. We want her to be with her colleague. So once she makes her way over to her colleague we can descend the lift shaft down to the ground floor exit the lift shaft and retrace our steps back out of the building and over the wall. So that is Darwood Rangin now taken care of. We are going to move on and we are going to go and take out the Maelstrom next. So we are going to run all the way round the edge of the map essentially to the junkyard area which is between the docks and the train yard which will be our final destination. So we're going to run basically right along the riverbank area here until we get to the building right at the very end and instead of following the road we're going to go around the Good back job. of this building and that's just to avoid the enforcer who is often stood at the door of this building and I often forget about him and run straight past him and get spotted. So we're just going to run around the back of the building and then back out onto the road until we get round past all the docks and the boats and we'll come to the junkyard area and we're just going to position ourselves right by this tractor's rear wheel we're going to pull out our silence pistol and we're going to shoot the extending ladder on the wall opposite and you need to hit one of the uprights to make the ladder drop and once we make our way up the ladder to the very top make sure you're crouching down this is a trespassing area we will find a table with two glasses of wine. We're going to poison the glass nearest to us with our lethal poison. That will take care of the maelstrom. And now we just need to lure the maelstrom here. So we're going to climb up to the roof of this building where we will find two guards and a flagpole. So we're going to pull out our silenced pistol once again, line up our shot with the flagpole button, take a shot and immediately climb back down off of the roof. On the next ledge we're going to put our gun away before continuing back down and be aware where the Maelstrom's wife is so she may be looking but we're going to make our way back down to the ground floor via the extending ladder and that is the Maelstrom kill now taken care of. He will see the flag, he will come up to investigate, meet his wife, they will have a glass of wine and he will drop down dead. In the meantime, we are going to continue on towards the train yard and we're going to go to the red box car right by the side of the train yard here, lockpick our way inside. We're going to collect the crowbar that's just on the crate in here, make our way right through the, the train car and out the other side and into the foliage. And about now we should be seeing Darwood Rangan get tools. killed. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? So, one down, one to go. We're just going to knock out the guard here with the crowbar we collected. We're going to grab his gun, retrieve our crowbar, and we are going to drag his body into the bushes just by the train car we exited. So that's him nicely tucked up and out of our way. So with him out of the way now, we're going to make our way past the entrance to the train yard. And just on the far side, we will find ourselves some more bushes and a drain pipe. We're going to ascend that drain pipe right to the very top. And up the very top here, we will find uh, a number of patrolling guards and guarding guards. And we will also find a water tower. So we now just basically need to wait for an opportunity here. Now there are four guards we really need to worry about. The three you can see, one standing still and the two moving from right to left, uh, up higher. And you can just see coming into view now another guard walking directly towards us. 
and it's this guard we really need to watch. So we're just going to wait for this guard to turn around and make his way back before we vault over this ledge up the stairs to our left and along the walkway and we want to just basically crouch run all the way past the guard at the water tower. Hopefully these two guards will be moving away as well on their routine and we will find ourselves a little hut. We're going to lockpick our way inside this hut and from here we are going to proceed to distract and remove many of these guards. So what we're going to do is take the gun we collected and drop it on the floor. 47, that man you just eliminated, that was the Maelstrom. Well done. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. So as you see at this point, the Maelstrom has drunk from his drink. So once we've dropped the gun on the floor, we're going to plug ourselves up against the door, open the door and select the hammer we collected along with the wrench from the table that's just by where we dropped the gun. And we're going to wait for these two guards and just as they start to move off we're going to throw the hammer on the floor. That will distract one of the two guards. And when he comes to investigate we are going to subdue him from around the corner. And unfortunately 47 only faces left for some reason. He won't face the door. But once the guard comes to investigate, we're just going to slam our fingers on the subdue button and drag him around the corner, render him unconscious. And we're going to plug him up in the closet provided. We're going to grab his gun. That's going to come in useful. So we're going to plant the gun just outside where the other guard would be patrolling. So he will come along on his routine, spot that, and he will come and take it away. In the meantime, just see him coming back there we're going to retrieve our hammer pick up our first gun and we are going to use that gun to distract the guard who is guarding the water tower and the best way to do this will be with a guards outfit so we're going to take the guards outfit we've knocked out we're going to need that for when we get downstairs so as you can see the uh, other guard who's on patrol has now spotted the gun he will take that past us and a long way away and he's going to be gone for some time now. So once he goes past the door, we're free to exit. And we're just basically going to rinse and repeat the same tactic with the guard at the water tower. So just by the stairs here, we're going to drop our assault rifle, select our hammer, throw the hammer roughly where the assault rifle is. That's going to distract the guard and we're going to wait round the corner by the hut here. And the guard will come over, spot that gun, and he will also take that gun away. And they have to go down sort of about two or three floors to where they dispose of the gun. So they are gone for a little while. Real bad place for one so that only leaves one guard to worry about. And with all of these other three now indisposed of in some way, we don't really have to worry about him at all. So once the guard takes the gun away, we're going to retrieve our hammer. We're going to approach the water tank and that will get us the steaming discovery of feet and we're going to mess with the valve there and then just behind us we find a pipe leading into the building and we're going to slide down that pipe and that's going to take us directly to where we need to be so we are now right outside of the meditation pool and right next to the heating that uh, system self-appointed queen of the mumbai slums so Vanya Shah is now just making her way over to this area. She will be informed that her meditation pool is now functioning. And we are just going to wait right here until she's in position. And she will basically go and sit down in that pool. And then we're going to mess with the heating system. And the system will overheat and explode. So there goes Vanya now. She's going to go and sit in her meditation pool so we're going to mess with the heating system and we've got about 10 15 seconds to escape so we're just going to wait here by this door so we get a nice good view of what's going to happen here 
and in a few moments the heat will build up to such an extent that the heater will explode. The heater? What's happening? Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. So that will get you the me time challenge. All that's left for us to do, as Diana suggests, is make good our escape. So we're going to exit the train yard by the fastest possible way. And just outside of the train yard we find a tuk tuk cab driver. So we're going to exit via the cab. So there you go, that is the me time challenge taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.